I'm at the bus stop and I am pregnant. I'm going to turn the camera towards my location just to prove to you where I am. That's Chariots Bar and Grill on Memorial Drive. And that's the Walmart that I was in when I was showing y'all that I was preg that I'm pregnant. And this, I like this bus stop has like a little glass right there. And I have one of my bags. The sirens are going off because I'm telling y'all what they're doing, leaving me pregnant at the bus stop. So there they go. Cause I'm telling on them. So they're coming. Oh, they're right here. They're coming cause I'm telling that they got me pregnant sleeping at the bus stop. That's what they do. You'll start noticing in my videos that I'll tell you that um, once I start telling on them what they're doing to me now to try to cover it all up, then they come through with the fire, um, the fire sirens, the ambulance, the police, um, because they, I, I think they got my phone tapped and everything. I know for sure they do because I'm not an idiot. But anyway, um, so I'm pregnant. They were just going to leave me up here like this, you know, and I was like, well, let me do a follow up video from the one from inside the Walmart and just show people what they're doing, like how they're leaving me outside. So here I am and I'm propped up. I got my back propped up on. I'll show you. Uh, uh, I got on my maternity mama dress, too. Um, and I got my bags right there. Uh, where are my bags? Yeah. That's propping up my back and giving me some back support. And, um, well, I already showed y'all my stomach. And it's dark, uh, but I'm with child. And because I shot a white male and they tortured us and Jesus and Jehovah kept the baby alive after all the 36 months of torture. They're just leaving me outside and setting me up. Um, the, the setup they did was have a man named Hassan come up to me. Um, let me sit back down and get comfortable because the baby I think is asleep. Um, Y'all know all that moving and stuff, but um, I believe it does uh, sleep as well. Um, so let me, um, oh Jesus, hold on. It's scratching my cervix. I gotta sit very, very, very careful with this baby because this is a very fragile uh, baby. All right. So, um, I was good like once out before um, I started making the video I had gotten myself comfortable um, oh goodness hold on you guys uh, oh I gotta get back comfortable excuse me but please y'all so they had a man named Hassan uh, he's try he tried to pick me up before over here on Central um, and they tried to murder me in Texas and I came to Atlanta Georgia to get into uh, a shelter because they have like a lot of shelters and organizations out here in Atlanta uh, for pregnant women, uh, women in general, women who've been abused. Uh, and they didn't want me in the shelters because I came down here pregnant with a baby that they tried to starve and murder before my trial. And oh, hold on now. I gotta get back comfortable. And so they had the man ask me um, if I wanted to make some money with him. So they're trying to set me up as a prostitute out here. Instead of she's a victim, she's pregnant, she's been abused, we have the evidence. But because they abused me for protecting myself and then had to let me go on the charges, they try, they're trying to set me up on other charges um, and I don't have any charges for anything. I don't have any warrants. I don't have a criminal record. So they're trying to force me to have sex with these men and I guess maybe build a case where they're saying that um, 
I can't get my son back or I well and they're saying I'm not pregnant. So anyway, the man said that he just got out of prison and they are uh They're trying to make me low videos of them abusing me instead of the videos of the evidence of my pregnancy and what all they did to my pregnancy from the jail. So um, I'm outside and I guess they're thinking, well, she's just a prostitute drug addict outside and we can prove that. And I'm pregnant and I don't know what more to say because I just wanted to show y'all how they were leaving me out here. I'm praying that y'all go on my channels and I pray that the Holy Spirit, God, please show them the truth to anybody that can help us. And if there's nobody on this earth that will stand up for us to these whites, and the black people that's selling us out, then I just pray that they go ahead and kill me because I don't have no guns to fight them back. And I'm pregnant and I'm tired of them abusing me with this baby in my body and lying about the evidence of my case. And I just say, Jehovah, if, if you're not gonna deliver me in this life, it's okay. because I still love God and I still want to be with him regardless of if they actually killed my son out there like they said they was. I'm just, I'm tired of this country lying and hurting me. I'm pregnant and I've been on social media for nine months asking or longer asking for people to help me and people in Africa are selling out and not helping me and people all over the world are selling out. But I'm gonna tell you a vision that I had when I saw them telling y'all to leave from Afghan. I seen the vision of some people and they had on holy garments and they looked like cartoons almost in the vision. And they looked like people from Aladdin or something. But they didn't look like the Taliban. They looked like some others. And they pointed at Cynthia Overa's house from across the way. And it was spiritual. And they said, kill her. because Cynthia is a witch. And when they said kill her, in the vision, they said, ooh. That's how everybody said before they said kill. They said, ooh, because she was a witch. And then the Holy Spirit told me to say, Cynthia Overa is trying to murder me. Cynthia Overa is trying to murder me. Cynthia Overa is trying to murder me. And it's all over the internet what, what, what she said when she did the witchcraft. And then the holy people that pointed to her house, they knew that I was telling the truth, that she was a witch. And when they said, whoo, it's like we could feel Cynthia moving across the floor in her house, like trying to hurry, like just trying to hide. I don't know if she was even still in her house because I haven't seen no visions about Cynthia since she told me that she could have me killed in 24 hours when I started telling about her on social media. And she's doing witchcraft visitations. 
So anybody who know about whites and devils and ever had a white witch do witchcraft on you, she was doing witchcraft visitations. Look up witchcraft visitations and I'm going to look it up too. The Bible says, suffer not a witch to live. I'm not trying to threaten Cynthia. I'm just telling what I saw in the vision. And they said, whoo. And I felt it go through my body as well as their body. And it was like a very chilling spirit, like it lift you up off the ground from your spine and put you back down. Cause that's how wicked she is. She is a real witch. And she threatened to rape my son with gang members and devils. She threatened to mutilate him. And the holy people pointed at her house and said, Woo! And then God told me to say, Cynthia Overa is trying to murder me. Cynthia Overa is trying to murder me. Cynthia Overa is trying to murder me. And that's why I'm outside pregnant. The whole United States is a coven. It's the United States Coven of Witches. And they denounced the covenant with Jehovah. And they want to go and make war with everybody.